if, if you had a chance to change one thing in Africa, what will it be? Mindset change. What, I, what is it about our mindset that you're going to change? We were born and grew up in Africa. So our mentality is totally different to Chinese, different to Asians in general. So our friends, they believe in making things done. Well, here we believe in who is going to help me. I have this problem. Who is going to help me? I have this problem. So our minds are dependent. While our friends' minds are independent. They know that each problem which comes to them, they have to find a solution and break through. Zombie. And like Zombie did not exist in 2005. Yeah, well, there was no lake. There was just a small stream, but I managed to excavate all this area to make it into a lake. Wow. So I've done this for almost 10 years. Finally, here we are. That's an island. Yeah, we have 11 islands. 11 islands? Yeah, we have 11 islands on this lake. <laughs> and we have also uh, what we call a floating restaurant over there and wow. two more luxury boats. Yeah, we are just waiting for certification. Okay. As soon as we get the certificates next week, then we have them on the, on the lake. On the lake. How is this feeling, knowing that this dream came from your head? Well, whenever somebody has fulfilled his dreams, he becomes very happy and excited. And uh, I think it's very encouraging that now uh, we started building 1,000 fish ponds so that we could also be raising as much fish as we can to feed the whole entire nation. There are fishes in this lake? Yeah, we have a lot of fish. And uh, most people who come here, they eat fish from this lake. Oh, that's yeah, cool. and all those birds, they're just there for the fish. Oh. <coughs> yeah. yeah it's right mm. Do the islands have names? Uh, no. Not yet. Okay, so that's an island that I just discovered. Mm. So I'm going to put my name on it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You know that this is my first time to be on this boat. What do you mean? <laughs> Your first time? That's my first time. Maybe I was waiting for you. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Yeah. That's amazing! Sure. Ah, you see? <laughs> he built a whole mermaid lake. He got boats in here, but he has never been on the lake himself. So for the first time since I came in here, he had to come along with me. That's beautiful. What is your definition for success? Well, my definition is uh, we have to work for success. Sure, there's no way we can be successful. Uh, we have been spoiled as uh, Africans because most of the people have been supporting with us with the little, little things which cannot change our lifestyle. 
So instead, you become a dependent, depending on some people. But if we need Malawi or Africa as a whole to be independent, then now we have first to have a, what is our destination. So the moment we have our destination, then we have to plan for it. After planning for it, then let us all come together and work as hard as we can. We will be successful. Proverbs chapter 12, verse 24, it states, work hard and become a leader, be lazy and become a, uh, a slave. So will you say your secret to success is work hard? Work hard. Nothing else. But you have to work hard. But when you are working hard, mm. you have to work smart. Wow. Yeah, you have to think and work according to your plans. Even though he built a whole agricultural college for families in this village, kids in this village were not left out. You see this block right here? It was donated by same person. What a great man he is, man. I love this quote. One man donation, Dr. Napoleon Zombe. From aid to trade, he's a big fan of Africans not depending on aid, but rather trade to make money to take care of themselves. Self-governance now, self-reliance now. So this is a, a banana plantation? Yeah, this is a banana plantation. That's uh, where everything started from. So I bought 32 bags of fertilizer and 16 packets of maize seed. Then I had asked my father and the family to join me to grow maize. I went to another district to get some four guys on a contract that if they help me, this is how much I'll give them. So we worked. Finally, we had harvested 63 farm cuts of maize. After sharing some of it, it came up with 300 bucks. So we sold. Then we ended up making some good money. Then now I said, what next? I think What's now next? we have to start growing tobacco. My father had he cleared all the trees and he did the plowing. After that, well, he failed everything. So because he failed, then he, when I came back as a young man, then he, I discovered that he, it was my father who did everything. So I call this place Zeruzabambo, means Father's Wisdom. Mm. So the name of this place is Father's Wisdom, because it's the father who brought me here and he is the one who opened this garden or this farm. So I had uh, to use his land in order now to start what I started. Oh. So everything that I have comes from here. Yeah. This is where you grew tobacco? Yeah, that's where I grew to maize first, after maize, tobacco. So from this farm, then now I have over 23,000 acres of land coming from this small piece of land. This is the first ever green pitch in this village. And it was done by the same man. It's not done yet, but I will come here when it's done to play football with the villagers. I, I, I wanted to ask you, what at all in life have you not planted? Because it seems you've planted everything. Ah, uh, well, 
Uh, that's what I said that I'm doing everything. <laughs> yeah, I have uh, thousands and thousands of trees, fruit trees. Uh, have uh, I don't know. Is it, is it, you're, you're planting trees because you used to cut down trees before. Uh, before I was cutting down trees, so now I'm replacing the trees. Secondly, hmm. uh, every human jack does need a flute. Wow. So it's advisable for me to have uh, lots of uh, uh, fruity trees in order to provide uh, something to our country uh, for export as well as uh, local, consumption. local consumption. So the, how many mangoes have you these are These are guavas, mangoes? Uh, these are mangoes. Oh, these are mangoes. mangoes. I uh, have planted over 11,000 mango trees. Yeah, so some trees have already grown up that you have started harvesting already. These trees, I think uh, next year we'll start harvesting them. You can see them flowering. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so uh, we'll have some mangoes this year. That year. Next year, that's when we are going to have many mangoes. Yeah. So this road again, mm. uh, from the main road to another main road, I did, uh, first I had to grade the road, mm. after grading then I had to come up with a gravel, so I just bought some uh, liquid which they use to make the road strong. So those drums, one drum is about $6,000. So I bought a few drums. So from next week onwards, we will start improving this road so that it could stand for at least 20 years. This man can't stop blowing my mind away. The moment I thought it's all over, then he starts something new. Currently, we are his plants. This is what we call the rice processing plant. But apparently, he got six different processing plants over here. I think he needs to tell us more. I I'm excited, man. Can you please like this video and share it so that others can see it? And by please, we need to get this channel to 2 million. So if you haven't subscribed, please, come on. I've not yet entered. But what I'm seeing is super crazy, man. Wow! So most of the machines are not yet... Those are incubators. Okay. I was telling you that we need some farmers to be growing, uh, raising chickens. So these are incubators ready for the chickens. And uh, this is a plant for rice. Part of which is outside. Uh, those guys are working on uh, extending the building so that all the machineries would be inside. So you grow the rice here? Yeah, we grow rice here. And then you process it? Uh, yeah. Is this some of the rice? This is some Processed of the rice. rice? Yeah. Made in Malawi rice. Mm. This can feed the whole country. It's amazing, man. I feel, I feel like a kid in a candy shop because I'm so excited to be here, seeing what Africans are doing in Africa. No one can tell me anything else again. We need to grow big anyway. And I'm so glad. Yeah. This, is, this is already big, but if you still want to grow big, yeah. Aluta continua. Yeah, well, <laughs> my slogan is grow big or go home. That's your slogan? Yeah, that's my slogan. So you don't want to go home? Grow big or go home. Since you don't want to go home, no way. you are growing big. Yeah, I have to grow big. <laughs> yeah. So these are some of my toys. Your toys? Yeah, some of them. <laughs> some of the toys, eh? Because I have many. You have many toys like yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, uh, fish feed. Oh, you process fish feed here? Yeah, I have many machineries. Is it, is it, is it for the fish, uh, fish pond? Yeah, for, yeah. This is crazy. They are currently making fish feed for the man-made lake I mean, there are fishes in there, so they need to feed the fishes. 
So this is the fish feed they are making. Also, he's a big fan of fish ponds in the village. So this fish feeds feed them. Also, anyone who wants to buy fish feeds, he provides it. One man touching so many lives. The best video I've ever made, hands down. Did you, did you train the workers um, on how to use the machines? Yeah, we have some people with the experience, so now they are teaching them how to do it. And these are locals? Yeah. It's empowering the whole village. No one is left out. Like, you see the people you're seeing? He got an expert that trained the local villagers to do what they do. Yeah, what? I'm, I'm the only food robot. <laughs> This place is more like an industrial hub with different machines doing different things but belongs to one person. Will you say this place is an industrial hub? Uh, yeah, it's an industrial park. Industrial park? Yeah. Is that another machine? Well, we have many machineries. <laughs> this one does what? Each, those are... Uh, uh, harvesters and uh, we have machinery for peanut butter. Peanut we butter. Have, uh, machinery for flour, machine for uh, cooking oil. oil. We have many machinery. Machi here. So you are adding value to that? I want, I told you that I want 20 kilometers lead, yes? Every gym and jack has to bring his crops here. Then we process and do packaging. Then he laid it for export and local consumption. That way, now we can find a way to generate foreign exchange. You believe in value addition? And that's what I believe in. What do you think is the problem of Africa? Uh, we don't have a vision. Many people, they don't think about tomorrow. Wow. Yeah, what they need is they have to do business today. The same day, they have to make profit. That's... Is that... Wow! What is this? This is ground nuts. The ground nuts. Mm. You make peanuts? Yeah. The peanut butter. Mm, those are the machines. So all these are from the farmers? Uh, yeah. So they bring, they bring it here? Yeah. You buy from them or from I, your own farm? I buy from them. You buy from them? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. And you, you still feel like you're not done, you're not satisfied? I know it's yet. Know. When will you be satisfied? When I see people have money. That's it. That's it. Just want to see people have money. Yeah. And food. That's all. Yeah. Because I can see all of them are so happy to see you. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Did you did you have a job before? No. No. Mm. And now he has given you a job. What do you do here? What, what do you do here? We, we work and we, we are happy. You work and you are happy? Yeah. This is real work and happiness. That's the meaning. <laughs> That's the meaning. <laughs> Does it mean those days you, 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 you used to be a farmer or something? Those days farm, yeah? Farm. That's it. Yeah. Now you have a farm and you also have a factory. Yeah. God bless Dr. Zombie, man. Like, I've never done any video like this before. I've met incredible people, but this one blows my mind. And I'm just giving you a raw reaction. I'm not even faking it. I mean, I feel like this video is not supposed to be one day. I should spend a whole month with him. And maybe I need to come back again and spend a month with him. And every day I'll tell you a different story on what he does because I. Like, I, I, I'm just in the car and he's just showing me stuff and my mind is just like, no way. I now understand and believe what Kwame Nkrumah said by saying, a black man is capable of managing his own affairs. Do you believe in that statement? Yes, I do. But there are so many people who don't believe in that statement of Kwame Nkrumah. Well, wise people, they take wise words to be wise. Foolish people, they take wise words as unwise words. 
So it depends, it depends who the guy was speaking to. If he's smart, he will know smart words. If he's not smart, all smart words will not be smart to him. Do you believe that Africa is independent? I don't believe because our minds, they still uh, depend on Western. He is a living legend, believe me or not. This man is a living legend. I've never seen anyone like him. You know, this is my country number 30. And if I tell you that I've never seen anyone like him, believe me. I'm, I, I, I'm doing this video, but I'm, I'm so emotional because like, I've never seen anyone like him before. The love that he has for his people, the passion to change the lives of his people. You know, as a businessman, it's all about making money, but it's all about impact you make in the society. And I believe that when you make an impact, that's when the income comes in. Like this video, <laughs> subscribe and be part of this awesome channel and welcome to warm heart of Africa but if this video inspired you please share this video but I'm also going to show you where this village is so that you can come and see and testify what I'm telling you because I don't lie if I tell you something come and see it for yourself when you come to Malawi touch down the long way just ask them just the name type it Napoleon Ndombe it will take you here, and you won't be disappointed. I think before you leave, you better read this verse 9. Verse 9? Yeah. Better to be an ordinary... Okay, Proverbs 12, verse 9. Better to be an ordinary person with a servant than to be self-important but have no food. I read again, I read again. Better to be an ordinary person with servant than to be self-important but have no food. Do you want to explain that to me? <laughs> well, I think it's self-explanatory. But what it all means is uh, we Africans, if we love our continent, Africa, and you put much effort on hard working. I think that is going to help us to come out of dependence, rather than having big calves, having big houses, while we are not yet to that stage. What we need first is we have to establish a platform where every gym and jack now can stand and go forward. So that's why this guy says it is important for somebody to be self-servant and work than just to be self-important and have no food. When you hear the name Africa, what comes into your mind? Well, it's, what comes to my mind is uh, it's a country or uh, it's a continent full of opportunities. Many people from all over the world, they leave their countries, they come here in order to find something which can help them in their countries. So because of ignorance, we feel that they have come to help us, yet they have come to get what we have. So let us come together and work hard so that we can be successful. Otherwise, there's nobody who will come from anywhere to develop our Af African continent. It's up to us to do it. What does agriculture mean to you? Agriculture? Yeah. Well, agriculture is a science of growing crops and 
uh, animals on land for the benefit of the people. But many people who have been trained for agriculture, well, they leave the school with a very good certificate. Instead, they go to look for a white collar job instead of implementing what they have learned in their various places. And it's the people who have been to agricultural universities who can help us to reach where we want to be. But those guys, they just get the certificates. Now they say, I have a diploma, I want a job. Instead of them creating a job. So if those whom we think that they are educated, they, have they are just roaming around with their certificates. Now who is going to create the jobs? It's a responsibility of every African. It's a responsibility for every African to see to it that he, those who have been to good schools, now they have to start their own businesses so that those who have never been to school can be learning from them. But now, you that did not go to school, mm -hmm. the one who is employing, employ, uh, employing the graduates, the diplomas, the people with the master degrees and all of that. Yeah, well, yeah, I think uh, after leaving school, I've been traveling across the world. Mm. So I've seen what people are doing practically. So now, what I've seen is what I'm implementing. You learned from the street. Exactly, exactly. We have so many young people that watches these videos. And if you have a message for young people, what would that message be? Uh, my message is uh, success come from hard working. So if you, young generation, you need to be successful, then forget about handouts. Let us concentrate on working hard. The moment we work very hard, then we'll be independent and we'll make the right decisions because we will not be afraid of anybody. Instead, we'll be independent and do the right decision. But if you are not a hard worker, you will always need just to please somebody who is helping you. And that will not take us anywhere. So my advice, please, you young guys, let us come together and work to develop our nations. No angel will come to help us do and accomplish what we want. It's up to you as the young generation to do all what you can so that the five to 20 years to come, Africa should be an independent continent. But is there anything you're doing to empower young people across the continent? Or even in Malawi? Well, uh, in Malawi they have been inviting me mm. to go to different places to teach these young guys and mentor them. So I've done that. So whenever I have a chance, I'm more than willing to help other people across the continent. Let me tell you something. I've not known him for so long. I just spent the whole day with him. But he's a billionaire of ideas, man. But I don't know. You know, they, they're trying to find out if you're a billionaire of ideas, does it make you a billionaire in cash? Well, I think uh, according to scripture, Proverbs chapter 14, verse 24, mm. it states, Wealth is a crown for the wise. So if wealth is a crown for the wise, then you need to be wise in order to get wealth. So that's it. That's, that's the best answer I've received in a very long time. And I want to tell you, you're amazing. Yeah. I'm so happy to meet you. I'm so inspired. Uh -huh. And I hope each and everyone watching this video is inspired just like I am inspired. Thank you. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. We wish you good luck. Thank you. Yeah. And I will see you again. Well, let us be meeting so that we should be sharing ideas for the benefit of our continent. Thank you. Thank you so much.